If your synchronization with Azure AD Sync or AD Connect, also known as Entra ID Connect, stops working, it's because Microsoft has suddenly decided to enforce TLS 1.2. And there's a registry fix that you need to do in order to fix this, and you can do it with usually within a few minutes. The details of that fix is going to be in the details section of this video. So just go ahead and look at that, and then you'll be able to copy and paste that information in. But let me show you how to do it. And here's the error message I was getting in my application about directory synchronization. It was unable to get a security token. The client and server can't communicate, and that's because they're trying to use two different versions of TLS. So let's take a look at regedit. Inside Windows Server, and I'm in Windows Server 2025, but this will also be the same in 2022 and 2019. We're going to open up regedit by typing regedit in the run command. And on the left-hand side, expand the HKey local machine. And then we're going to go to Software and Microsoft. So Software, and then go down to where it says Microsoft. After that, we're going to go to .NET Framework. And if I'm going too fast, just pause the video until you get to this point. Then I'm going to expand the version 2.0. And now I'm going to right click anywhere on the right hand side and choose new D word value. And we're going to paste in that first D word value, which is system default TLS versions. Now this has to be uh, case sensitive. So make sure that you type it exactly as you see it in the details of the video. So I'm going to change the value from 0 to 1. The value is always defaulted to 0. Now I need to create another one. New D word. Paste it in. And once again, change that to 1. After that, I'm going to need to go down to the next version 4.0 and create a D word here. Actually, a couple of them. So I'll right click, new D word. And it's the exact two same D word keys that we just added in the other version. So now I'll add the second D word. Again, it's the exact same as the other two that we added. And I'll change the value to one and that's it. Now let's take a look and see if my synchronization is now working. I'll go down to my synchronization and the configuration is now complete. So that worked. And as I mentioned before, you're also going to see this in PowerShell, running various different PowerShell scripts, as well as commandlets. If you get any types of errors like this, then go ahead and run these uh, various different registry changes, and that should all work for you fine.